Welcome everybody to another episode of From the Bottom Up. Yeah, today I have, um, I think David and Lisa, probably you can see, I don't know if my picture's here, but I'm in Camas, and I've got David and Lisa joined with me there. Oh, just David looks like he's on camera in Portugal. Oh, there's Lisa too. <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah, well, I thought I would actually join them in in Portugal. So I'm just going to take off my neck sweater here and just go into the drone telepathic space and fly over to the Algarve where they are. Let's see if my tech team can help me with that. There we go. <laughs> so now I'm in the Algarve, where they are nearby. <laughs> how's it? How's it going over there? Hi everyone. Can <laughs> you hear us? It's we can beautiful. hear you. <laughs> it's 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 amazing. Actually, look at you. <laughs> You're right there with us, Jason. <laughs> Yeah, it's been really, really, I, I can't tell you, it feels like, like Frank was saying earlier, like we've been here for at least a month, and it's only been four days. Just feel like so much happening and so much, well, and also just being so present together, too. Yeah. It's so much happening within this presence. Yeah, so I feel pretty elated. Moving, things are just moving really, really fast. You just flew over there Tuesday or Wednesday, right? Yeah, we. I think today, this afternoon, was officially just we were coming up on day four, so we had three full days, and then this afternoon is day four. So yeah, it's it's since we landed, it's been about four days, uh, coming on four days now. So yeah, it's it's been amazing what's happened in four days. Really <laughs> mind blowing. <laughs> when you first called me showing me pictures of one place, you're like, this is it. You got to unwind your mind symbols. It's so beautiful. Everything's really given. Then you visited three or four more places. And by the time you, you called me at the fourth place, you're like, this is it. It's, it's, it's. <laughs> <laughs> and the horses were coming. <laughs> Everywhere we went, we felt like th it was it. We were so happy. Yeah, we were so happy. We, we just, I'm sure the people that were around us, the realtors and the people that we, we had a full blown joyful experience with literally every place we've gone. And, and yet we're just waiting it to be shown to us uh, in a very, very clear way. You know, it's, it's kind of interesting because, you know, Hillary Clinton one time had this quote where she said, it takes a village uh, to raise a child. And, and so we're watching, you know, it might, might take a village to raise a Christ child or, or maybe a little less, but there, there's a bit of a feel like uh, something uh, really expansive is coming and we're just kind of watching it be ushered in and every day we're like, whoa, uh, it's, it's huge. And uh, it's a great feeling because... Um, it's almost like we've been saying we're the setup team. I mean, I feel with uh, with Ellen and you and I and Frank and uh, Antonio, Jose, I, it's like the five of us are like, a, we're like the setup team and uh, the spirit has sent in the setup team and it's like we've landed and uh, we're, uh, we're in our moon rover, you know, we're just roving around, going to new places today, the airport. The I mean, I... Frank put me as the driver. I've never, you know, driven in Europe, you Portugal. know, my, our, in, in Portugal, but I'm the driver. And so it's like, turn left, turn right, turn left. It's just this navigation of just being so present. I'm not even really paying attention. Yeah. They are, but just this navigation, just this fast movement. Yeah, she doesn't know any of the traffic rules. She doesn't know anything about crosswalks. She's She doesn't know any of the, the language and yet she's been plunked down. And so it's kind of like the, the Bourne, those Bourne movies where it's like every time we go out, 
this is like a race car driver, like behind this, the, and just like, and, and Frank and I, Frank's in the back with his, his Google, uh, his Google girl, he calls them. They almost broke up in Lisbon. Uh, he, he got quite uh, fired up with the Google girl because it took with about two hours to get out of Lisbon. And, but then he, he made up with her, and so he's in the back, and verbal commands, and I'm in the front watching the, the BMW things. And Lisa's like, we're like, right, now. And we <laughs> turn this in this. And so it's, it's, it's full on. I mean, when we make it to the end of the day, you, you hit the oh. pillow. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's, she's like and then that. The thing is, is this car you can't put it. It's probably the most expensive car I've ever driven, and you can't put it into park or it's all drive. Electronic. Or it's all electronics. It's all this like, you know, just trying to maneuver the car. The start yeah. and the stop is quite funny. You're probably in so much joy. You go to all these. You're with your realtor and. They probably report to the other realtor who tells the owners, oh, they love this place. They're so into it. They're going to buy it. <laughs> and then you go to the next one. It's the same thing. So you got like five people thinking. Well, the property that we were interested in, uh, the, our realtor said, tone it down. Tone it down. This just doesn't look good at all. We're not going to be able to negotiate. And then, so I don't even speak the language. They're like talking. This is not a good actress, you know. For after like 45 minutes of, oh my God, oh my God, hands like, flying and everything like this. He gives it a look like, and she's like, yeah, it's nothing. You know, and I, I just go by, I said, that's terrible, that's terrible. Wow, well, this place really isn't that good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all for the holy encounters because I remember it is. you guys you had know, that years ago. Beautiful, really, you know, meeting all these characters along the way. I mean, it even started on the plane. Yeah. I mean, our plane trip was just amazing. It was the longest plane ride I've had in many years, and <laughs> it was just this massive gift. Like on the plane, these people. Uh, we were diverted onto a nine and a half hour flight. And then we get up there to like 30,000 feet and, and we, we are in a situation where we're in an exit row and there's just a, 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 like a little stage in front of us uh, next to the restrooms. And we were sitting there all strapped in and you would not believe what came in front of us. I mean, at one point we're sitting around looking and I'm seeing these uh, t-shirts on the back of all these people we love we love God, we love each other, and we love the lost. And uh, so we were just watching this, and then uh, we were watching all the attendants, and when, then all of a sudden these guys, people in these shirts came, and I said, hey, is it, well, you got a church group, and it's like a church drama group going to Ukraine, you know, to put on a prodigal play and everything. And then the leader, of, their leader came up to us, and was standing in front of us and he was so on fire for God. He was talking to us, talking to us. And so I mentioned the symbols. I said, well, I'm a senior pastor. This is a minister. He was so, his eyes lit up. He knelt down on one knee right in front of us. And in the middle of his plane, he was down on one knee, not like Copernic. No, this guy was, was down and he was, the Holy Spirit was ripping through him, ripping through him. Talking and to him. like five other people joined him. They're like, let's join in prayer yeah, right now. Let us pray. Let us pray and right on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> in this long prayer, I'm looking around like, oh my gosh, we're, we're in front of the aisle now. But we were doing a revival at 30,000 feet and it was just unbelievable. All these things would happen. Then we saw this one guy. And he's coming there, and we're looking at him, and he's looking around, and he's standing in front of us, and he's from North Korea. So I'm like, North Korea. And then Lisa notices on the back of his jacket, it says, Sainthood. So I thought, I look at her, I said, what are the chances of meeting a guy from North Korea with Sainthood on his back? And then he, that turned into another holy encounter. You know, he just spent all this time with us. Because we said, what does that Sainthood need on your on the back of your jacket, and he goes, what? What's on the back of my jacket? <laughs> he didn't even know it was there. He said, someone gave me this jacket. He was like, wow, I had no idea. Yeah. But it's like everything's a witness for the mind. So, like, over here, we have just landed, but, I mean, it's just so full of signs mm -hmm. and symbols and these, like, uh, 
Frank was mentioning these unwind your mind. It's on my unwind your mind book. They're, they're just here, there. They're showing up everywhere. The little snail shells. We're turning them over. They're, they're, there's a, look at a whole bunch of them here. They're just, we're seeing them everywhere. And, and, and yet somehow this, this has like a, I don't know, for Lisa and I, we've been on so many setup teams that Lisa did here uh, before she left Mexico. You know, we were with Francis and JP and, and Lisa heard this, this is the last chapter. And I know that with Helen Shuckman, when she was taken down the course and taken down the course, Jesus didn't say, I'm going to dictate, you know, a text, a workbook, a manual for teachers, the psychotherapy pamphlet, a song of prayer. You know, he was just going, the text was long, and then the workbook came. And then Helen and Bill were like, Helen's hanging in there like we are with this ride. And then Jesus was, was kind of saying to her, she's like, how will we know whenever this is going to end? You know, because it was like a wild ride for her and Bill, and it was full on. And then Jesus said, uh, you will tell when, when I say amen. Mm. And that's where it came to an end finally. The course was, and now we say amen. And, and uh, Lisa did hear, you heard, this is the final chapter. Mm. So I have to say the setup team is full of joy and we're just living in the moment and we're here and it feels huge, but we, we're just watching it unfold before our eyes. But, but uh, actually it does have a, a bit of a feeling like the fi some kind of a final chapter mm. for, for us. Uh, we've <laughs> we've been continuous. at this for many years. Well, you know, I'm just continually amazed. And so I feel like each day is just this brand new, I don't know, just such appreciation. I could cry. You know, just right before this, I was standing out with Frank. We were just looking outside over the edge here. And it's the most mystical village of, I mean, it's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. And, just really this state of full appreciation of everything. I mean, it was funny, Frank was saying this house, like it was like the last one on our list, but it was the one that we rented. And we went in there and we were like, are you kidding me? This is the most beautiful. So we were like sitting last night, just kind of in awe of just such gratitude, how the spirit is it's so going before us mm. and how natural it feels. And yeah, just... I just feel very, very grateful and yeah, just feel like a child just watching everything really in just such glee and appreciation mm -hmm. for everything. And just the holy encounters, like, you know, that's really everything. Like the people that are showing up, even the realtor, he's asking everyone so curious, you know, what, what, you know, just what's going on and talking about relationships, talking about forgiveness or whatever it is. It's like this, fresh beautiful yeah, yeah and, and like even on the plane it was so beautiful to watch these attendants uh the stewardess you know all these people they were in such joy and in such service but i was watching them thinking oh my word they're just like this is collaboration they were in an authentic experience of joy and then we were talking to the lady at the end and we're like wow you guys this has been an amazing just watching this collaboration for nine hours. Yeah. And she, and we said, you know, we're like you guys, a team that do all these trips together. And she said, we don't know each other at all, <laughs> but just, they share this. We just met each other, but they're so into the service the devotion that they didn't miss a thing. We were like watching one woman go flying by. And she, oh, I missed the toilet. And she dove into this toilet. I mean, it was, it was quite amazing to watch and I think that's that's what we have to remember that nothing is personal there's nobody's doing anything special or different you know the spirit is just orchestrating everything for the glory of God mm. the spirit is the, the Christ mind is the sleeping Christ mind is awakening to remember the full experience of the Christ and uh, there's in in that experience it's just eternal it's there's mm. no beginnings there's no endings mm. The things of time. I just always love seeing the angel faces. Uh, Antonio has been mm -hmm. here and Ellen and just the, 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 the reflections of this service and devotion and the care, the care is, is just, uh, it's stunning, really. It's just actually stunning for us. That's beautiful. Yeah, people wonder why maybe we'd even go over there and 
and really to understand the depth of, of it being about the holy encounters because n- none of us want another house and this is an opportunity for more and more quote people so to speak <laughs> to get my full trick back <laughs> full uh to really give even for frank who mm. he was if you saw on his show before you know he was suic- <laughs> <clears throat> suicidal and then in his answer to his prayer david's face shows up and since everybody's answer to the prayer is to give the spirit's like okay well what do you what do you have you know you've got your words you've got your time you've got your energy in frank's case there's funds available it's like i really want to use you i want to if you're before you go it's kind of like you lisa that one time i don't know you i don't know yeah you had this thought please show me something real and, and jesus said to you well give me 24 hours you know mm. and and he said, just give me that 24 hours. Let me show you what I can do. And he like blew your mind and amazed you so much in that 24 mm. hours. It's like you just for a whole like years, you just kept living 24 hours by 24 hours. And that's all you, you wanted or could do. You know, it was like, and the love just kept coming through you. And, and just to see Frank go from country to country, just, okay, I'm scared of them. I just want to give. And, and this house is coming in and all these people in Europe are writing you guys. We don't even have the place. I mean, really, I mean, it's like, it, we're all in it together. Even the, the emails that are coming in and the text is continuous. People are right there beside us. It's, it's like keeping it. We're all in this vibe. And yeah, with Frank, it was so beautiful just because, um, yeah, there was a massive intensity and it was even before we got on the plane, it was like just the ego roaring. But uh, we were just talking about it too because yesterday he said to me, "We're because we're like so in function and going here and going there, and you know we're just we went to the grocery store yesterday, all four of us with Ellen and him, and we were in this high vibe just getting groceries, you know, in Portugal." And, and uh, Frank, at one point yesterday, came to me. And he's like, "It's actually really amazing." He said, "I can really see that function." <laughs> is solving everything that like it's this high vibe of you know redirecting the mind into the inspiration and what serves the whole it's not about houses it's not about any of that it's about us being very very present and connected and yeah it's it's miraculous Mm. yeah yeah i think too there's always signs and symbols like frank was saying i just see I mean, I feel the feelings and I can feel the expansion. I can feel the momentum. I can feel, wow, something is happening here with, first we thought Europe and then a couple of days ago we were like, oh my God, this is like Africa, Europe and Asia. We, even that we had too small, something big. But the signs and symbols on a daily basis and then I, I tend to watch them very carefully. Like uh, when uh, Lisa and Frank and, and I were preparing to come together. Uh, I'm just getting ready the days right before our trip even. I'm, I'm used to lots of signs and symbols, very unusual things happening um, that are kind of telling me that something uh, huge is happening. There was one time I did a whole tour of Europe and then on the very last day of the very last talk, I was in uh, Spain and I was giving the talk and I reached my last word, I just spoke my last word after touring Europe, all these countries, and I was in Spain, and I spoke my last word, kind of went like this, and then a giant roar went up, and it roared and roared and roared and roared, and, I, and we all looked around, and firecrackers went off, and, and it was people cheering, and people flooding into the streets, and painted faces, and, and it was just like a huge explosion, and... Uh, uh, Spain had just won the Euro Cup uh, in soccer at the very moment they, the, the, the soccer game ended the last word that I spoke <laughs> over in Europe and this huge explosion started and it didn't even surprise me because I thought, oh yeah, this is, this is a joyful expression of, of that. And then, <laughs> and I've come, we've, we've had temporary uh, centers uh, down near Barcelona, one over near, near Malaga. Uh, we've, and then here, whatever's happening now, I know Jesus and the Spirit is behind it because uh, 
there was right when we were getting ready to fly, I, I noticed there was this uh, hurricane in the middle of, it started off uh, in the Atlantic, all these ones came over and were, one came through the Gulf and from the Caribbean and, and hit the Florida panhandle right before we left. And then there was this one in the middle of the Atlantic and all the hurricanes come over to, toward the States. But this one was kind of floating around and then its name was Leslie. And then all of a sudden it took off on a beeline across the Atlantic, straight for Europe. Uh, this doesn't happen. Hurricanes don't go that direction. This one did. It was named Leslie, and it went zooming right at Portugal, <laughs> right where we were going to land. <laughs> right, Lagos and, and Li Lisbon was coming. And, and I thought, I was telling Frank and, and I was telling Lisa, because I was talking to, chip chatting to my friends in Portugal. They said, no, no, we don't, you know, we don't get hurricanes. And, and then, uh, look, the last time that a storm like this had come at Europe was 150 years ago, something that hadn't happened for 150 years. And I'm like, something's up. <laughs> Something is happening. A storm. Like your mind symbol heading towards Portugal. <laughs> right. It was, that's what it looked like on the Atlantic. It's like a spiritual eye. A spiritual eye. I, I, a spiritual I, I unwind your mind. It just, and it had a massive cloud structure, even bigger than the one that, that hit the panhandle. It was like even 20% bigger. It was like, and I just thought, that's just a symbol, Jesus saying, here I come, um, here I come. And, and this was, we're just experiencing that day by day, the, the vibrancy, the, the spirit is wanting to lift, lift the mind, lift the sleeping mind higher and higher and higher toward that Christ self. And the signs and symbols are everywhere. Mm. And in one sense, it's almost like when we, when we finally landed, it was such a long series of flights that we, could, we were almost having trouble walking off the plane. We kind of staggered off the plane. We'd been sitting for so many hours consecutively that we kind of staggered off. We both were like trying to like we not, right, like not <laughs> like, fall over because we were on the plane for so long. And then when we got here, it just felt like, okay, now here we go. Uh, and it's been like such a whirlwind. Like, like uh, off and running. Off and running. Almost like our like we're blinded and our hands are out mm. and we're just like okay where do you want us to go mm. and it's like it's been like that every single day mm. and uh and that's why it's it's an adventure it's just an adventure and and uh you know that's that's what the course is saying the that the salvation is basically i do not know the thing i am what i'm doing where i'm going how to look upon myself in the world where you get so swept up in your function, mm -hmm. so swept up in your purpose mm -hmm. that you're, you do become almost like deliriously happy, mm -hmm. and deliriously joyful, but, but you do start to almost like lose your bearings a bit in terms of time and space. And, uh, and sometimes it, it does feel like that. Like we're just looking around and looking at each other like, oh, what, what's going on? And like really detached with the form. Yeah. Like it's not based on yeah. some form thing. It's really just this high vibrancy of the holy instant just being so present mm. together. It's like it's moving that like that yeah. hurricane, like yeah. in this force mm. really in that energy of us all being linked up into that. That's yeah. what is, that's, what's exciting. It's alive and yeah, it, it's amazing. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Everyone plays their part perfectly. Cause this is, this is obviously a sign for you guys. And, and mm. you were saying the same words last night and just doing all this, PR and Google AdWords stuff. And he was like, I did not realize that being done through so much was actually the answer. Like, it's like a trick. It's too simple or something. <laughs> We're being carried back, carried back. Yeah. Put a, both him and Jeffrey put out a prayer for bring it on and they didn't know the spirit put them together. So Jeffrey's the real force, right? Like um, real strong energy with, getting things handled and done. And Andy's just normally kind of like, you know, like this. And so the spirit put them together. So Jeffrey wakes him up at 5.30 and they <laughs> join all day <laughs> until midnight. That sounds exciting. It is. I heard Jeffrey say they're get, starting at 6 o'clock in the morning. I thought, oh, that's alive. Yeah. <laughs> New and fresh. That's fresh. That's full. I do have one miracle I kind of wanted to share. It's not... Mm related to Europe, but it's related to this holy encounter thing because 
this kind of touched me deeply actually because over the years I've had this affinity towards tech and some people would say nice things and I always thought oh it was just Jesus providing but then about a week ago he said maybe two weeks ago I don't want you to buy anything anymore so I was like okay so you know after this three-month whirlwind of stuff it was really to focus on the house and you know I had to get a car battery I don't think it meant things like that it meant things that were more related to what could be open to personal preferences and so that meant a phone and certain chairs and all these kinds of things getting cameras ready so i abstained but jackie and i went down to do some stuff in salt lake city and then we ended up over the apple store and had this holy encounter with the guy it felt really good almost ready to buy this phone and i remembered this guidance and so i waited and i wasn't 100 percent sure so i just went into prayer and i thought i'm not sure and my mind has to be so focused right now with cameras I'm not going to do it. And from the instant that decision was solid, I kind of went to this mystical experience. I couldn't even drive. I had tried to get in the car. Jackie had to drive the whole way back. And I was just, it was such this beautiful experience seeing that, wow, the only sacrifice is really a state of mind. And feeling like I want anything that's going to keep me in that state of mind. And the iPhone would not have, because I would have been at home trying to get it all ready. And, you know, you know, these things take energy. <laughs> so. mm. So anyways, I got back home and I totally dropped it from my mind amongst a bunch of other things. And then just yesterday, I was journaling and had this space. And I, okay, what would you want me to do, Jesus? And I heard, I want you to buy an iPhone. And I was like, well, what about this rule? And, and I was like, don't worry, I'll show you. So I got in the car pretty much right away. And normally I would go to the Apple store because we get tax-free, we get it's all handleable. Everything's easy. And it was like, no, keep it real simple. Do it. David does. He just kind of goes and keeps it real simple. You know, that simply Mac store. So I started off there. I went in and they first thing they said, Oh no, we don't sell iPhones outright. And I was going to buy it outright. You have to get on a plan. And I'm like, I am not getting my phone locked when I'm ready to buy it outright. So, but I could feel this defensiveness. Like already I knew how, the phone, so I had to soften and ended up having a really joyful encounter with the guy, but that's the story. I went to AT&T and it was this really cool thing. Then they were going to charge me tax, but it's a church phone or whatever. So I thought, okay, I've got to face. I, so it was this weird thing where I had to face like, okay, first of all, I have to be willing to go on a plan. You know, what if I'm going to travel? I had to be willing to pay tax. And then they didn't have this certain thing. So they sent me to this other store and I went there and the guy was so kind of unfriendly. But he just, he walked me through the whole thing. And then he's, he adds another $30 on this thing. And I'm like, and I just heard, just be willing to pay it. So I went willing to pay it. But then I had this call with Susan, but she didn't like any of this. She's like, let me make a call. So I had the guy wait 10 minutes and turns out she got a $500 discount out of nowhere that, you know, you don't get upgrades anymore and two-year plans and these kinds of things. So she ended up saving me $500, no tax and everything. But the point was all along the way, it was never about the iPhone. iPhone. Jeff, David, uh, <laughs> Jeffrey, David, Jesus. <laughs> it kept reminding me it's about the holy encounter. So I kept having to meet these people, never trying to buy an iPhone, never trying to have an agenda of no tax, never trying to have an agenda of leaving the store with anything. And I kept ending up with these super inspiring <laughs> encounters with these guys and letting go of the iphone in the end and it got more and more mystical throughout the, the day and i had no idea if i was even going to get a phone and all of a sudden it comes in with this huge 500 hundred dollar thing off and then even this morning david you said we need our horses to be good you know if, if the phone is our horse it's like let's not get too concerned about just get the phone it was really supportive and i don't know it really touched me that the miracle is in following the guidance again and it's not about the end product. And I don't know, I had more miracles like going into this world market and not buying anything and having all these encounters because now I couldn't buy anything, right? So I just go in and have all these encounters with these guys and leave the store so happy. And I don't know, something really deep in that these personal preferences are a huge block when you go anywhere for anything at all, ever, gas, a phone, or whatever, you're actually blocking the miracle. And I feel like you guys over there in Europe, you know, you really don't want a house. You really are just there for the miracle. 
And so Jesus can use that to like serve the whole now Asia and Africa. So thank you for doing your. <laughs> it's, so, it's such an honor. Like I feel like I can't wait to go in to see another house. It really isn't the house. It's the holy encounter. There was this lady at the one place. Uh, it was like the second place we went and uh, we're going through the house and she was beautiful. And then, David was saying he was going to South Africa. We were just talking to her. She, she was she, from. She's South. got this beautiful estate, and she's yeah. there all by herself. She was from, had mentioned South Africa and coming from South Africa and been there in, here in Portugal for thirty-five years. And I said, "I'm going to South Africa." I see Catherine's on here, and she said, "Not without me." <laughs> <laughs> and like, listen, then, then she's like, what are you going to for dinner tonight? And right. then she's like, when are you coming back? Like, what are you doing? What are you guys yeah. doing? Just joy. Joy. She was a little lonely and we were just so happy. And mm, we just, she was adorable. Yeah, it's all about the joy. You know, it really isn't. You know, there's a, there was a Dan Fogelberg song that had this line, storybook endings never appear. <laughs> They're just someone's way of leading us here. And I always love that line because the here is, is here and now. It's the moment. And the Spirit is using all these orchestrations and all these miraculous rearranging time and space and aligning things and all kinds of wonderful things just to clear our perception and bring us into alignment. And when you're in alignment, it really doesn't matter what seems to be happening. You are just happy for no earthly reason. And that's the greatest, that's the highest state of mind is to be happy for no earthly reason. Because there is no causation anyway in the story, so you can't really be happy for, for a reason. And, and Jesus knows that, so he just keeps lifting us up and lifting us up. And, you know, they always say, well, if you're going to die, die laughing. You know, if you're actually, if you're going to live, uh, the only problem of, of the ego is forgetting, to, not remembering to laugh mm -hmm. at separation. So uh, we did have one house visitation, remember with Chris, the, the British man from Liverpool? Okay. We, I don't know how, many, how long we were there, but we laughed like the whole time. We were laughing and laughing and laughing he and laughing. laughing. And he, he was laughing. He stuck out his tongue like this. Right? It was, he, was <laughs> he was like a, he was a character. But and he just he, got married last week, and yeah. he's like, "My life is great." <laughs> he did this thing with his tongue, and he was right. like, "Whoa, what was his name?" <laughs> Chris, we were just laughing so hard. But the thing is, you know, it's it really isn't about you know. You we say send on a mission and you know set up team and everything, but that's just kind of from a time space perspective. But really, it's not that. The spirit wants us to just be happy. God just wants us to be happy for no earthly reason, just to be happy with everything and everyone. And, and I have to say the greetings uh, to Ellen. Ellen really brought us to, uh, to our realtor because they, you know, they've oh. been together and, and shared a few children and, and, and here, and he's, he was like sitting with us at a restaurant the other day. What he was saying was, Oh, she said so much about, you, you guys, and he was saying, I was hoping I was good enough. And we were like, oh, Antonio, what do you mean good enough? You know, we love you. We, we're with you. you, you you're you our realtor angel. And, you know, it's just, it's a relationship. we were going to go to dinner, and he said, do you mind if I come along? Right, <laughs> come along, right. And we said, of course you can come along. And then he picked up the check. Yeah. I mean, he's asking us if we can come along. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and then it's his town. That's exactly. where his office is. Yeah, yeah, you know. And and they're just adorable. It's like, you know, the, the angels all around us are just reflections of, of our mind and that love and adoration that was given to us by our creator. Mm -hmm. And now it's just, that's part of the happy dream to see those symbols all around you, just twirling around you, that there's nothing more, you know. You know, it's like, that. wasn't that grace slick? Let the world around us just fall mm -hmm. apart. Maybe we can make it if we're heart to heart. You know, that's, that's it. Staying heart to heart, staying open-minded, open-hearted. Yeah. There's nothing more. That's yeah. it. That's the whole thing right there. And then you're not into outcomes. So, you know, I think it'll be shown. We're just sure that whatever, center, right, place, it'll I be shown. Right, because I feel like even with the, um, 
yeah, like it is, it's showing us because we went to this one property and yeah, that almost makes you want to cry because it's this massive uh, village, village you're calling it. <laughs> um, and it was just like, whoa, we weren't expecting this at all with it was within the, you know, the different ones that we were seeing was like the fourth one. And all of a sudden it was just overwhelming. Like, oh my word, just, you know, I could just feel in my heart just how like for us it's about what serves the whole not us it's what serves everyone and just knowing how many people are here in europe and how many people want to connect and you know not having mm. to come to be able to come to mexico or the united states you just why well, i I'd start crying you know in the garage i was like mm. oh my word this is you know mm. w you know bigger than i thought and we but, see them on here miriam's there so you know it's like there's a whole list of you all we feel you and it's like we're we're just a setup team mm. and and it's like ooh, look at these sparkling ones that are that are mm. feeling a part of it all you know we're just yeah but even yeah. not even being attached to that yeah. because then we're saying okay we're, you know we're gonna let jesus lead the yeah. way yeah. so if that would be the place or if it would be another place just yeah. as a base yeah so yeah. it's like it has to be very very obvious make it obvious mm. Yeah. There's a lot of Europeans here, actually, really, a lot. Mm. Yeah. At our mystery school, didn't you say there was over Yeah, half? I see some of them here. There's Ernestine. I see that I can, <clears throat> I mean, I can't see the whole screen, but yeah, there was a lot of, uh, yeah, hi, lots of people from Europe that were at the oh, mystery Gail, school. Gail, Sevi, Jackson. Sevi. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's amazing. It's just, it's it's our heart. It's just our heart being reflected, and and so it's how however it goes is we're we're grateful, and mm. we don't really know the timing, and and we never do, but it doesn't really matter. That's you know just floating along, doing your part. If you fulfill your part, if you're in the joy and just fulfill your part, which is just to be happy, then then everything mm. is taken care of, and. And we really experienced that, I have mm. to say, on mm. this trip. Even this mm. last place we went to stay for a week, uh, like Frank was sharing on his show, yeah, none of us knew what to expect. And then <laughs> we go in there and we're just looking at each other, like marveling, like, oh my gosh, this is... The place we're staying in. Yeah, yeah amazing. We were totally amazed. <laughs> totally amazed. Uh, but to stay in that, you know how a child has a state of wonderment, you know, big eyes and be in wonderment or like almost in a Disney movie, you know, where you go into the next scene and your eyes are really big and you're just, oh my, oh my. And then that's it. We go, we, we were over there for the first time for, for Lisa and I at Ellen's house, uh, Ellen and Young's place. It, we were like, oh, wow. Ooh. And it's there. what's here? What's down this hallway? And this. It's like children on, a, on a, a sense of discovery. But there is a, a wonderment and there is a, a contentment, actually, like mm -hmm. Jeffrey was talking about, where you're just content with what is, mm -hmm. like Byron, Byron Katie talks mm -hmm. about, just love what is. And mm -hmm. that's really what we're in, this loving what is, just, just this contentment of well, the It's like moment. a state of grace, mm -hmm. living in a state of grace continually, like just being humbled and enjoying it. Yeah. Like at wherever we go, even the restaurant or whatever who's serving us. Even today, the guy, we just went into this little corner place and it was so funny because uh, he was waiting on us and he was funny. He spoke English perfectly. And then we said something to him. He goes, I don't actually work here. <laughs> We're like, why do you wait <laughs> waiting on us? He said, and, and Frank even said something about him speaking, you know, English or whatever. But he, I don't know where he appeared. It was his mom's place or whatever yeah but, just yeah. Was showing up to help yeah and lisa went in there's nobody in the restaurant oh, she goes into the bathroom and and i they were saying is anybody in there i said i don't think so we're the only ones in the the restaurant there were no patrons and then of course it was just this guy and his mother in the kitchen so lisa's like okay i'm going so she goes in closes the bathroom door and then i'm looking around and i'm what's going on the the mother Someone's banging She's on the bathroom. Bang. Because there's not even a stall. It's just like this bathroom, right? Banging, banging, banging. 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 I'm like, I'm in the bathroom here. And they're saying, like, let me in. I'm like, what are you doing? So, I mean, I'm on the toilet, literally. And I open up the door and, like, I'm, like, naked. I'm like, hello? And she, 
She handed me this toilet paper. I'm like, she she felt that Lisa was the, o- the only one in there, and we were the only ones in the restaurant. And she so much wanted Lisa to have toilet paper so that, she's like, that she just pounded on the door until Lisa <laughs> opened up. <laughs> That's love. It was. She, I thought it. it was so cute. It's like some Portuguese, you know, grandmother, and she's like, "Here, take the toilet paper." And I'm like, "Okay." Like, why? Why? Why do you have an issue with me banging? What'd you say? Like, why do you have an issue with me banging? I'm bringing you. I know, well, that's exactly It's for you. And she was like, what's your problem? You're going to need toilet paper. Like, oh, I can So I came out there and was like, okay, I don't know what that was about. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really, really beautiful. Just, yeah, just to be here now. As yeah. in, you know, it's just really just being, to, yeah, and just being with Ellen and Frank, it's just this new assignment, it feels like, you know, really to be together and, you know, healing is the purpose. It's not about anything else. And yeah, the commitment to forgive and to love and feel the surge of that love doing all of this through us, mm. for us, and just that. And mm. this is, seems to be the backdrop. Yeah. Yeah, I feel really grateful just to be here. Yeah. I think it's you know, people say really where is this all going and <laughs> and and it's a good question, but it's like it's really to be swept up in the joy. I mean, it does feel in some way, I don't know how, but it does feel kind of like it's we're it's our last chapter mm-hmm. for for doing this kind of thing, but but we have kind of been like uh Lucy and Ethel on the Lucille Ball show, I mean, I have to say I'm, I'm really grateful because the Holy Spirit has had us on these wild Lucy and Ethel I'm, adventures I'm so for like, grateful. I don't know, for about like 15 years. And we've been, <laughs> we've been laughing so hard sometimes that we, we start crying because we're laughing so hard and we can't stop laughing. And, and uh, one episode's just coming to mind. I'll just let you in. Maybe oh. the last time we tell the parable, but you know, we had. To, I, I won't go in. I won't go into the whole thing about how we how we got the plane tickets, the free meal, and we flew it across. It was the one that trip to to Arizona. Anyway, the trip's coming to a close. It's yeah. we had to get up like I don't know, oh, no. like three thirty or four o'clock at, in the morning. And where this is his it's, favorite one. <laughs> it's pitch dark. It's like pitch dark. And we're in a rental car, some kind of big rental car, triple upgrade. Some of you know the parable. It was a Lincoln. Yeah, this, this was like the end of the parable. It had all these upgrades and things flying at us, and people wanting us to go even to a casino because they were like, they heard our story, and they were like, you guys. Honeymoon suites. Yeah, I mean, it had everything. But anyway, we're in the whatever Lincoln Continental Town Car, I think it was, and we're in the middle of like the desert at some place where we found to, to sleep. And oh. it's all right. It's just a miracle bell. <laughs> and uh, and uh, a, a t- another angel got their wings while we were in the middle of the story. Grateful people. Grateful people. They're dinging. <laughs> and so, anyway, we had to go to, like, I think it was Albuquerque Airport and to turn in this, this Lincoln Continental Town Car. And, uh, and then we're there, and it's the morning, and we go out. And we pack up our, our, our luggage, Nobody's it's away. all it's dark, it's desert. cold, it's in the middle of the desert, and we, got, we pack up the car, it's one of these high-tech cars, Lincoln Town Car, <laughs> we pack up the car, we get the, we get the luggage uh, into the car and everything, and um, we slammed the, I think you were going to get some kind of a, there was something you went to get, and I was out there, we went out, we closed the car up all the way. I closed the door to, to go back to the trunk, and all of a sudden we heard... Click. Click. The car locked. The car locked itself. The car locked itself with the in the middle of, with, with the, the keys running. in, with the car running, and and we're we're supposed to just make it to the airport. We got to drive quite a few hundreds of miles, and and the car locks itself, and we just burst into laughter. We absolutely we actually couldn't stop. We laughing. could not stop laughing because we're like, what are we going to do? We just looked at each other like. 
There was something about some piece of silverware, a spoon or a fork in we there. We found a plastic fork. We found a plastic fork. You did it. Right to, right, to get it. We couldn't. I'm looking around to get into the car. The thing I'm, the point of this <laughs> parable, <laughs> the point of the parable is when you just are in so in purpose and so in function mm -hmm. and you get to be so in the spirit that, that even a car locking itself <laughs> in the dark, your only ride out of the desert, locks itself, uh, and everybody else was sleeping at the place and everything like this. They didn't even know it ever they happened. They didn't ever it happened. It, it just, we just burst into laughter because it was just like, oh my God, I give up the most now. most absurd thing yeah, that yeah. could happen. And that's all Jesus wants us to do is get to the place of I give up. Mm -hmm. Like where you just get to the point where you throw your hands up with this world and you go, I, I give up. Mm -hmm. And then that's mm -hmm. the most glorious surrender moment that there is. Mm -hmm. Because as long as we see, keep playing the game of time and space, there's going to be guilt. Mm -hmm. And when you get into such joy and purpose and such aliveness that you start to really not care about outcomes at all, like it doesn't even, you don't even know what it means. What is an outcome? You, it, the ego thinks everything's about outcomes. And this is a case of you, you become really like oblivious of outcomes. You're just immersed in the holy instant. You're in such appreciation for just what it is. It's just we're fully linked together in this moment. And there's a power in our minds. It's like that commitment. You know, and then there's like this surge too. Like yeah. there's a movement with it too. Yeah. Purpose is the only choice. Like when you when you it's like an eclipse. When you fully get into your purpose, it's a total eclipse of the heart. Mm -hmm. It's a total eclipse where your purpose eclipses what used to be the the past, what used to be the ego, is totally eclipsed. It's a full eclipse, and then the joy just becomes so so very strong, mm -hmm. and that's practical. All this other stuff about things in form and practicality of form—that's an oxymoron. The the holy instant is practical. <laughs> the purpose that we share with each other, with the Holy Spirit, that's practical. And it turns out, in the end, everything else in form is is irrelevant. Mm. Uh, and and that's quite an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. Everything else becomes irrelevant in that joy. Mm -hmm. So the world will end in laughter. You know, mm -hmm. the world. Jesus said that it's not. Don't have to worry about the the destruction of the world. It's the retranslation of the world through happy, gentle laughter. Mm -hmm. Is really what we're trying to mm -hmm. share. That's really so you, what it's about. You guys didn't. You didn't so want anything. Scary. You didn't what? want anything from each other. You know, this is why is this fifteen year no. relationship is. You just wanted to find ways to give and and put that connection above and beyond everything else, and that's that's a blessing. That's what Kristen and Ken have to do in Quantico, and mm -hmm. Greg and you to hear and all the houses there. It's like everywhere, you know. It has to come from this love, or it's all it's all meaningless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. That's really beautiful. It's really lovely. Yeah, and then extend that to everyone else. That's where it feels like, you know, that's where the holy relationship extends to everyone. You know, that that's available, you know, not just with David and our thing, but it, it's like with you or with Ellen and Frank. Like that's, you know, it's what's present. It's like, mm. you know, that that's where we can all really join is in the holy instant, not wanting anything from each other. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that, that, you know, that unconditional love is God. It's feeling the presence of God together with no, nothing else, you know, and just that's the commitment. And then all these, uh, the, put the kingdom of heaven first and then everything else is added onto thee. And that's what this feels like. It's not, that's what I said to Frank. You know, it's like that. That's what purpose is. The purpose is to love. Mm. There is no other purpose. Yeah. yeah. And it, it comes with a curiosity, like uh, Antonio, you know, our realtor, he took us, took us out to this, uh, this fish place by the ocean. Some of them you might have seen, I posted a, the coast and the, this, the ocean there on Facebook. But um, the more we were there, just in the joy and laughter, you know, it, in the end, he was a little curious. Like he was, he, was, he was asking Lisa and I a lot of questions, like, what, what are you to each other or what? How long have you been doing this? And, and he was trying to find a box 
uh, to put us in, I think, in his mind, but he wasn't finding a box. And, and the more we talked, the more he asked, the more we talked, he was, he was like, he was fishing, but he's trying to fish for where, but it was beautiful because this is very transcendent. It doesn't, it doesn't fit into any uh, concepts or boxes of this world. It actually washes away. It shines them away, Sh shines all the concepts away. And, and I know that it's very frightening to the ego, but actually we have to say that, that this has been our purpose. It's very deep and, and we're just called into it. And, and uh, he was saying like, oh, so you guys always travel together. Lisa said, no, actually we don't. Uh, this is almost like a like a specialized little assignment. Uh, assignment. Like we're like the seemingly setup crew of a lot of different things that have happened in a lot of different places mm. and a lot of uh, different uh, countries and things. But it seems like uh, it's amazing too uh, with with Frank and with Ellen and Antonio. The five of us. Uh, I don't know. We've like canvassed so much here in the last the last few days. It feels. Feels like we cut a broad swath of <laughs> of things, and we don't know if this is the beginning or the end, or we have no idea. But but it's almost like you can feel everybody like working together, like it's yeah. like a spirit moving like a through bunch us, of, like ants, like that yeah. movement is like yeah, yeah, you know, like an excavator moving something mm. in our joining. Yeah, Beautiful. something's happening, and I don't know what it is, but it feels that just that movement, mm. whatever it is, mm. expansion. It feels very, very expansive mm. and just feels, yeah, new, very new. Fresh. Yeah, fresh. and fresh. That's good. Tolde said something the other day I'd heard, told Andy, he said, if you're ever stuck somewhere, he said, it's better to just make some movement and see that it's either a mistake or, or guided and just to move through that stuckness because because there is a movement when you're in the spirit. There's a feeling of, of flow and energy, and, and everyone can ride along with you mm. if they want. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We're in the movement of the Lord. Yeah. Well, this is great. I don't know if you guys feel to maybe we could open it up to see if anybody wants to. Yeah, open it up to our all the beloveds out there. I see Maya and. Devin, John, Stephen. Anybody have a Walter. question? There's Walter. Back, Walter. back after the mystery school. Well, we could just name everybody. Yeah, Gail, Ellen. Patrick. Sabine. Miriam. I've heard your name a couple times. Yeah. There's the whole La Casa oh, group. The whole La Casa gang down there. Yeah, they are waving. <laughs> mm. Jeff's can watch the board. If there's anybody that... Wants to any hands going up, you can let us know here. Let Jason know too. Kim, Nicolene, Kimberly. There's H. Emily that Smith. makes it simple. There's Richards and Sue's down in Australia. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Savvy. Emmy. Emmy. Good. Yeah, there's Jackson. Heidi, Jackson's there with the content oh, Here look. comes Frank over here. Here like comes Frank. Frank is like, he's, he's hearing hey, all these Ellen things. can come on over here. Ellen's been her such Ellen. an angel. We're at Ellen's yeah, son's Ellen, house. Yeah, it's That's how we were able blessing. to. It's almost like she just swooped us up and just, hi, Ellen. There's your mind training partner. <laughs> yeah, just swooped us up and just been our just really mighty companion. Just. It's been amazing, really, because we don't speak the language. We didn't realize that we can't even find butter at the grocery store. You know, it's just not even, yeah. But we could find a hair trimmer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it magically appears. Yes. <laughs> uh, mm. Stephen. Yeah, Stephen. Yeah. Hey, maybe I can go on. Deb and John down in Mexico. Sweet. Bridget. <laughs> oh, and Maya. Dennis. Peter. Barbara. Uh, maybe I'm saying <laughs> people again. <laughs> you're Dennis. You're repeating yourself. Kelly. Peter. Kelly. Yeah. I can't pronounce that name there. Bridget's oh, iPad. Is it Blift? Jenny. Where's Jenny? 
Jenny and Susan, they're at Bliss. <laughs> Are, where are they at? They're at uh, Angel's Jenny's Landing. Jenny's got a question. Jenny has a question, yeah. Here she is. Oh. Go ahead, Jenny. Wow. Well, <laughs> hi. Hi. It's really cool to hear the miracles. I love it. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm. And we we are in the miracle too. We are just working on uh, extending the new book, just a word about the book. Uh, this moment is your miracle. And I knew Jeff mentioned it earlier. And we just want to emphasize that, what you talked about, Jeff, because it's so beautiful. This book is going to be such a gift. Greg and I have worked with the team for two years. Mm. And yeah, we will we will share more about it here on Ellen Virtual. Mm. But for now, for everyone who feels drawn, just mm. uh, use those links that Jeff shared and uh, get yourself the copy of the excerpt and then um, do some, you know, put some stars on Goodreads. <laughs> we want five stars. <laughs> <laughs> They're for this book. Yeah. And also, um, if you want to, you can make a review. Even if you haven't read it, you can say, I must read this book or, you know, mm -hmm. some nice thing. Or go to Facebook and watch the site. Our friend Sam has made such beautiful banners and everything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just fun. It's just it's another way to You're like in your function, Jenny. It's so beautiful. You know, yeah. it's really a demonstration of how everything has gotten everybody joining in function and practicing just the mind training and, you know, forgiveness. And like this book is just like the fruit of that function that I, yeah, it's just really beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's a good. Guy from bottom up. Yeah, it's beautiful too, the idea, just the symbol of that because uh I've just, I just give talks, really. You know, I don't sit down to write books, and they talk, and then I talk, there's editing, and then it comes together as books and, and pamphlets and things. But this one's a little different in the sense that uh, we were, we, we kind of got away from uh, publishing even, and, uh, and then all of a sudden uh, we got approached by uh, Harbinger, New Harbinger, and they said, we want to publish a book, and then Jenny and Greg and... and teams of people there's Susan Jameson's part part of it now and there it's been a collaborative effort where we've been uh, Jenny and Greg had to really let go of a lot of expectations even about uh, books and publishing because there was there was we were it was such a collaboration and such a huge team with a professional publisher we had never done anything like that and it's mm -hmm. very much like us over here we're going around with, with a realtor we're meeting people there, it's the spirit doesn't see professional or this or that. It's just a swirl of, of love that's and relationships and relationships that are that have no distinctions really. The spirit sees everyone as just this pure love and everyone working together for the good. So, so thank you, Jenny, that that's and beautiful. Susan for what you're doing because it's it's the collaboration continues on, and uh, we're just honored by it mm. this moment is your miracle mm -hmm. good one i called everybody from canvas too to greg's here as well oh mm. beautiful beautiful mm. since we were waving well let's see what god has in store for us here yeah yeah we're excited mm. we're watching mm. Okay, well, thanks, guys, for joining the show from Europe. And what are you going to be there next week, or are you moving? We don't really know what's happening. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I I think we have. You know, this was a, a gift, a godsend. Uh, Ellen's son, Julian. Which is, yeah, coming here down. Yeah, we're down we're, Lagos. It's beautiful. Beautiful, right down by the bay. It's hard to tell what's actually coming in the next day. Uh, we just unpacked yesterday and uh, moved into this one place, so we're kind of we're in transit right now. Yeah, not sure if we'll stay there, go to Allen's, where you know where we're, what the next move is. Okay, well, thanks for sharing everything from Europe because it's great for us all to be on the same page and. 
We're in the yeah. joy, so we've definitely gone from the bottom up. up. Bottom up. <laughs> mm, is that what you do with the show? <laughs> no, oh, okay. I just, it's the first time. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you do? I don't know. <laughs> Jason's like, no, that's the first time I've seen that on this show. <laughs> okay, Jason, thank you. Thank, we thank love you, you everyone. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Sweet. Love you. Love you. Mm. Mm. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Wow. Okay, cool.